Hello, I'm Mary Bayman. Welcome to the Bliss of Art. Following is a list of supplies that you'll need in creating Marrakesh Man. Bob Ross brush is one and two inch, a two inch bristle, cheap brush, an angler brush, as well as a long brush and a rounder one. The tape is clear release tape, a painter's tape, and a projector, an Inspire projector. But you can use any projector. It doesn't have to be this expensive tool. Marrakesh Man was filmed in Marrakesh, Morocco. I had visited a market with my family and my daughter was looking for some carpets. And you know they have the best carpets in the world. Lovely colors, beautiful, nice, and woven and thick and lush. And the man didn't hesitate when I asked for a picture. And I'm so thankful for now I have Marrakesh Man. Take care. Thank you. Using my projector, I began outlining the man's form and the other items within the picture. I brought in a photograph to help me with my uh, work, as well as a picture that had some of the colors I want and a color chart. Oh. Can't do without the color chart. It is my favorite, all-time favorite thing. And then I have my paints left over from yesterday when I did my wash. And I'm ready to get started. And I did add, I added a black. Oh, kind of a grayish color, actually. Because I wanted the gray to not complete, compete against these beautiful, beautiful colors here. So let's begin. So here we go with our colors and I'm going to start off with start off with a light gray and I'm going to mix it on my plate and I'm going to go here this is the bag the man is carrying and so I'm going to go in and I'm going to color in these colors right here my beautiful colors are being covered up but that's all right I'm going to add some water to thin it out just a little bit because I don't want it to consume all my picture, all right? And it's kind of like drawing. You stay in the lines as best as you can. And adding more color, and I'm just getting a little bit darker, a little bit too dark for me, so I'm going to add some more white, and I'm just going to blend it here on the picture. Okay, and then there is a blanket here, right here, and so I'm going to change the color slightly because I don't want that to compete. And I'm even gonna leave some of those colors because this is a book bag, and so it doesn't really matter, you know, what color it is. And add a little bit more black with some red, and I put in some uh, crimson red in here. I love crimson red, it's a beautiful color. And I'm going to add, tip my brush in here with some darkness because this blanket is a little bit darker. So I'm going to fill in the lines again, make nice and wavy lines and go up and down in my painting. And leave some of those colors. You, you really don't have to get the colors in that well because Number one, you got beautiful colors on there already. So let me add a little bit more. Dipped it in some water. And now it's kind of coming out of maroon color almost. And I'm gonna blend that in. Stay inside the lines that I've created. Because remember, this is a blanket. And it's got a few white spots on it. So I'm gonna put some white in here. There's like a square here and another dot here and then a square coming down and then i'm going to lighten this up just a little bit add some more water and blend in my edges touch it up a little bit and i use my fingers all the time oh yeah i love blending with my fingers 
and getting rid of the lines because you don't really want to see the lines even though who cares you know the lines are there and it's yours so you can do whatever you want with it and then I'm gonna add a little bit of black up here because this is kind of dark mix my colors here and as it, you can see that I put on my um, my little coverall here my paint uh, paint thing and blend these colors in blend them in with my fingers and then that comes down here so you say oh it comes down right about here and that's that pole right there add some more water but not I don't want rich colors here because I just don't want this to stand out I want it to blend 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 and then I use my fingers blend 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 in the edges and go over here a little bit more because I still got some dark edges so I'm going to cover those up all right and then I'm going to kind of blend it in because it there's some color that goes through here that blends in beautiful and I don't want to lose that color all right and things get smaller as they go further away from you and this is like um right here here's his arm and here's like a part of the blanket that's this thing here so I'm just going to kind of blend it out too I really don't want it to show up too much I don't want a lot of color or detail in that. Blend it with my fingers. Blend, 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 blend. All right, come up here, add a little more cover to that. All right. Now we got the blanket here, and I'm gonna go in with the gray, only I'm gonna get it, uh, because I want his color of his arms to be dark. I've already decided I wanted him to be dark. And so if that's gonna be dark, it's gonna be right next to, we wanna make that a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna go in and use some of this pinkish color here and make that blanket there. It's sort of a pinkish color. So we're going to do this, I'm going to do that, color that in, blend, 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 blend. And this does have some shadows in it. Cover it up, blend it in, use my fingers, blend, 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 blend. Blend in those pretty, pretty, pretty colors. And then I've got some darkness there. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of darkness on my, my, my little cheater thing here. Cause there's a shadow in here and I want that shadow to show. Give it some depth. And then, oops, there goes my color chart, but that's all right. And this is right here, this part here that kind of comes up. So I'm gonna make that a little bit darker. And there's some shadows that are coming in right here. Blend in those shadows. Blend, blend, blend. And this is this line going right here that I'm doing. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that in too. I don't want it to take any precedence, any precedence, take any importance there whatsoever. And there's like shadows going around here, so I'm going to make that a little bit darker, and then I'm going to be changing brushes. And the brush I wanted, guess where it is? On the floor. Well, I changed the brushes, thankfully. And now we got the brush that I can use. So it's a little bit smaller, and I can use it in the face. So here I go. What color do I want the face? I've already decided I wanted his face kind of dark. And so I got my darkest color up here. I want his face this color here. And you gotta watch it because this is still a little wet. So I'm gonna just come over here and I'm gonna grab the outside and there I go. There, color that in. Now when you're coloring in the forehead, the forehead has indentations of course and so 
You gotta be really careful about that. And then underneath the eyes, there's gonna be some shadows. So I'm gonna cover that in. Dip my brush in some water and come out here. And then bring those a little bit lighter. It's so much fun to paint. It really is, folks. It is a blast. I love painting. And then I'm gonna make his eyes darker because eyes should show up. So I got this really, it's almost like a cranberry color, crimson red. And here's his eyebrows right here. So I'm gonna make those a little bit darker and this one a little bit darker, right like that. And then I'm gonna blend this in. There's gonna be some shadows up here. This ear is gonna kind of disappear a little bit. So it's gonna get a little lighter. So I'm gonna make that a little lighter. Blend, blend, blend. Fingers, fingers, fingers. It's okay if you get it outside because guess what? It's your painting. And then here's this other ear on the edge and I'm gonna give him some white going around the nose, a little lighter color right here. All right, and then I'm gonna blend those colors, blend with my fingers because I can, and start filling in this part here. I'm gonna pretend like it's a beard almost, you know. I'm gonna bring those in towards the center, using my fingers. And then I'm just gonna blend all that in right there, okay? And I'm gonna go really dark with the hair, because I can. And there we go, fill it in. Then he's gonna have some shadows, and some of it's gonna be highlighted. And blend it in with my fingers, because I can. and even blend it into the head, okay? And now we're going to, I'm going to uh, cover up some of these marks right there. So I've added some more water, and this is gonna be a little bit darker and lighter. There's a shadow under here. Don't worry about the lines, because who cares? And there's a shadow coming in here, so I'm just going to make that dark. All right. And then this is going to get a little darker here. So now we've got the face, and it's good stuff. Blend it with my fingers. It's okay if I get outside the line. I want to bring it in towards the nose, bringing everything in. And then... I'm going to change brushes and go with the shirt. And the shirt is going to be a lighter color. So I'm gonna go with the lighter pink. So I'm gonna put lighter colors right coming here. They kind of come in this way. All right. This way, stay in the lines if you can. If you can't, that's all right too. And this I'm going to kind of blend just ever so slightly, it's just to make it look like it's one piece. All right, and that's that shoulder, and then his shirt's going to come have some lines that come down. So I'm going to make swirly lines, and then these lines are going to go across. To give it some cut, some curves, nice nice curves and then as, as it gets away from you it's going to get a little bit lighter and so there's some curves i added in there all right and don't worry about the lines i think the lines look good i love the lines all right and then his pants Let's do his, I'm going to do his arms next. I love this color here. I remember his face is kind of like that, so I'm going to go with this color here. 
but I'm gonna go dark here and I'm gonna go at a curve and I'm just gonna kind of just barely go with some colors in there just to blend those together and then I want to cover up those lines just a little bit and then over here his arm is well, working on this part so I'm gonna go with a little bit darker there and then you'll see that I'm going in curve styles and blending with my fingers curves and blends curves and blends blend blend it all out all right and then I'm gonna go down here and I'm still gonna go in circular motions Add a little bit of lightness to that because it's not got so dark but there are some shadows in there so I'm gonna add some color on the outside blend 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 with your fingers don't worry about it and then his hand is right here dropping down so blend those colors in right there so we get some good stuff good blends going Yes, good blends. Need those blends. Fingers, use your fingers when you're painting. All right, now I need to switch brushes. Go to my smaller brush and go back into the dark purples and go down here for the fingers and outline those fingers just like that. Oh, hands are hard to do. I did a painting once of all hands, my mother-in-law, and, oh, my gosh, it took forever. I'm going to leave a little bit of lightness in there. But I love my mother-in-law. Unfortunately, she died several years ago, so we st I still love her. And then let's blend this. We want to separate that just slightly. So let's go with a little bit lighter color here when we're going into his foot. Blend, blend, blend. Take your fingers, move it around, blend it in. And these are going to curve slightly. And it's a little bit lighter at the top than it is. Then it starts getting dark. And then I'm going to blend some of those colors. And I'm just going to kind of lose that little corner there. I don't care about it. I'm going to lose it. And then I'm going to bring some colors down here. And there's a dark space right in here. And there's some lightness. So I'm going to leave the lightness in there. And I'm going to give them some depth. Blend, blend, blend with your fingers. It's okay if it comes out. It just looks like it's part of the picture. Blend, blend, blend. Then always step back and look and see what you've drawn. Now this side here, let me finish the arm and then I want this color here. This arm is really, really dark right in here. There's a shadow. Gotta make sure you don't put your arm on like I just did. And his hand is curved down this way. Sometimes you just need to put some water in there. Sometimes you don't need a lot of paint. And sometimes it drips and that's all right. Blend, blend, blend. I'm gonna blend this in a little bit more. And blend, blend, blend. Okay, blend, blend, blend. Give it some curbing on the arm and then this Part. I'm going to leave a little bit lighter, change brushes, and I'm going to try to go in to make it circular. And then I want to partially dry brush because I have a lot of color in here. That is still his shirt. So 
I'm just going to make it a little bit lighter. Almost like a gray. Almost. Blend, blend, blend. Blend it in. Blend it in. Blend it in. Okay, there's colors I can pull from there to blend. Blend, blend, blend. Blend is what I love doing with my hands. All right. Now what can I do over here? Artists, they go all over. They all stay in one spot. They blend things together. Okay, this part right here is his uh, pants leg, and I'm gonna go light with that too. But I'm not gonna go as light as I did before. I'm gonna add a little bit of this white to it. And his pants leg, do this one here, and I'm gonna come up with my brush just because I can. Remember, these are monochrome colors. All right. Blend, take it and blend it in there. Make those colors work together. It's always nice to have something to work together, isn't it? No, oh, yeah. Sorry right if that comes out. You just blend it together. All right, that's his leg. And this part here is the mat. So I'm gonna make the mat a little bit darker just to differentiate. I'm gonna change brushes. I'm going to go with this almost magenta color because eh, down here I'm going to make it darker and then over here I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is part of the blanket, so I want to come up here so I don't lose, lose my thought. Blend, blend, blend. Some of that into his arm. It's really dark in here, but I'm not going to be able to get in with this big old fat brush. So, I'm just going to blend it together with my fingers because I can. Okay, what do we have here? Right here in this space, there's like, um, his shirt comes down and it kind of comes down to here, but I didn't get that line in. So I'm going to put that line in. All right. I don't know. I, I can, can make, make him look like he's really, really skinny. skinny. You know? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work here, and I want to work with the lighter colors. I wanted the grays. All right. So I'm going to come down here. See what color I got on my brush? Now this one you want to be a little more careful with on the edges. Now since I came out a little bit more, I'm just going to make his butt a little bit bigger. Okay. And then these are part of his pants too, so his pants are pink there. So add a little bit of darkness to that and check my color on my paper towel and then come here and blend. Try to stay inside the lines a little bit better this time and his pants actually come off to here so I'm going to try to blend those in right there. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, so I'm going to take my finger and blend those colors together. 
Look how nicely they blend in there. All together. Oops. That's all right. There's no mistakes in art. That's just part of the shoulder now. All right, now this thing here is the blanket. Continued out here, so I'm just kind of leave that gray. Go back in, pull some of my gray colors out. Make sure it's gray on there, and it is. I just want it a little bit lighter, that's all. Than what it is. Because this picture down here has got lots of light grays in it. That's what I'm going to use for my source. Okay, I'm going to stick a little color in there because I can. All right, now his foot, I'm going to leave it black because I like those contrasting colors. And the blanket, I think I like that black. What do you think? What do you think? Eh, okay, I'll change it to a little darker color. Yes, I do want to blend some of those colors together. So, I'm going to come in from the outside and I'm going to come in to the inside. And then I'm going to bring those colors over and that blanket is kind of, remember I was taking my brush this way and so that's a color I'm going to take because that's the mat, the little mat. Keep calling it a blanket, but it's a mat. And take it and blend it with my fingers. Went out the lines a little bit, kind of went in his pants, but guess what? Who cares? Use your fingers. It's the best thing you can do in blending. Blending is so important in colors and paints. Uh, now, I'm gonna leave that black, because I like that black. I'm gonna step back for a second. And I see that I need to finish up his feet. Go to my round brush again. Go to this color here, which is kind of that pinkish color. And I don't want it to be too pink. So I'm going to come in here and finish this part first. Because there's a little dark area around here. And then his feet go over here, his toes. You can see his big toe sticking out right there. There's a toe. So follow the foot so you don't get lost. Blend, 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 blend. Blend this a little bit more. Okay, now what do we got here? We got his foot down to here, so I want to use the same color, but I want it a little bit lighter. And there's a lot of light in that area. And his feet, his toes, you're just gonna kind of blend it in. Because you can. And then his leg, it's dark here. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker here. And I'm using the same brush. You just wanna give it a feel. A feel of a foot. Doesn't have to be an entire foot, you know, just a feel. Throw it in there. Give some curves. All right. And this part here is still part of that blanket, so I do want to go in and give it a little darkness there. So I can say that's part of that blanket right there. All right. And this I'm leaving alone. And I want to go real dark in there. I'm going to go to this color here. Oh yeah, because you should have some of your brightest colors around the face. The face is such an important part. That's where we see the most color and that's where we want to see the most color. Blend, blend, blend. Take this brush and blend it down. Add some curves, blend it, blend it, curves, blend, blend, blend. Get rid of some of those lines. Add some, some wash in here. Blend, and then I'm gonna blend some more. Add some lighter colors in there on that leg to make it pop out right there. 
Ryan, what do you think? I think he's almost done. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for, for visiting. visiting. And look, this created so quickly. You can do this. I'm 68. And I haven't been painting that long, but I have always been creative. Well, thanks for visiting. And if you get a chance, visit my website, marytoart.com, and see all the masterpieces I've created. They're so much fun to do. Bye now, and God bless. Grab your brushes and join me in the happy dance at the end of this video as we celebrate our finished painting.